Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you how I take product photos or videos with extension tubes. In one of my previous videos, I have already introduced this very useful gear. So please make sure you watch that video before we continue. The link is up there. There are three reasons why I think extension tubes are suitable for products. First, you can take super close-up shots. Basically, extension tubes can turn any lens into a macro lens. So you can show the details of an object and it will give you a very different perspective from how you usually see things. The second reason is that you can create beautiful background blur easily with an extension tube. So even if you don't have a decent studio or equipment for photography, you can still take great product photos. The third reason is that you don't need expensive prime lenses. Normally, if you want to create big bokeh balls in the background, you will need a lens with a large aperture. But with an extension tube, you only need like f5.6, f6, or even smaller f numbers. Here are the tools that you will need. First, a camera, of course. And it would be better if you use a lens whose focal length is at least 35mm because it's easier to focus. I will just use my Sony 18-105mm f4. I will also need an extension tube. This is very cheap. You can find it on Amazon for about 30 to 40 US dollars. I'll put the link down in the description box. Next, you will also need a product, so I'm just going to use this other lens as my product. And you will need a tripod. This will make your shooting process a lot easier because when you are shooting details, any tiny shaking will look very disturbing. Another thing you will need is light. Just take some cheap decoration light like this. It's only a few bucks on Amazon. I will also show you another way to shoot without decoration light later. So now I'm going to show you step by step. And let's also see the before and after so we can compare the effect with and without the extension tube. Now I'm using the Viltrox 10mm extension tube and I am using the Sony 18 to 105mm zooming in to about 60 millimeters and i'm using f5.6 you can see that the background is actually very messy just my tiny bedroom my bed and my pillow but it doesn't matter at all because the extension tip will only allow the camera to focus on something that is very close to the camera so whatever is in your background doesn't make a difference now remember, when you are shooting this kind of photos, the distance between the product and the background should be a lot longer than the distance between the product and your camera. This way the bouquet will look more obvious. Alright, here's the result. You can see the very detailed part of my product. And at the background, the light bulbs are very nice and big. No matter it's a product photo or video, the effect is pretty good. Now let's compare. If I don't use an extension tube, this is how it looks like. It's not bad, but the background blur isn't that obvious. And you can see this round shape and the viewers might be wondering what is that and actually you can tell that the background is a little messy now i'm going to show you another very easy way to shoot product photos for this second way you don't need any decoration light all you need is a computer so go to youtube search for one hour bouquet so i'm just going to click a video that i like i like this color and now i'm going to use 
the bouquet as my product background. In the same way, I'm going to show you the comparison. The bouquet size and effect is very similar, but when you shoot without an extension tube, it is very likely that your computer is going to be in the frame, so you might have to crop the image a little bit. Another thing is that if you shoot without an extension tube, it is possible that your product has to be very far away from the lens in order to be in focus, so it might be difficult to operate. You can see in this video, I have to stretch my arm so far away because the minimum focus distance of this lens is not very short. Remember, it's a little tricky to focus correctly with extension tubes because the focus range is actually very short. So a tripod would save you a lot of time. And you can also use a slower shutter speed with your camera on a tripod. Another tip for you is that when you are using an extension tube, it would be better and easier to focus with manual focus so that you can just look at the lines on your camera and know immediately whether the product is in focus or not. If you are not familiar with manual focus, here I have a tutorial about manual focus. So check that video out if you're interested. All right. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss my future videos. I'll see you next time.